What's up guys? It's Sobe TV. Today's video I kind of want to cover Last Oasis. Is it a dead game? Is it dying? I'm going to kind of cover some things. I think the reason why the player base is slowly kind of dying off. We're going to check out the Steam stats, go over some of the reasons as I said of why I think it's personally falling off. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. One of the first reasons I think, you know, Last Oasis is starting to, you know, die off a little bit more so is the tablet grind. It is absolutely excruciating uh, to try to get some certain things and upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, and, and some of the things kind of feel underwhelming, which I know they say they're, they're, they plan on patching it and maybe modifying and tweaking it a little bit. But just for example, like the Titan, it's 100 tablets just for the Titan. You know, if you want to get the bone or ceramic upgrades, it's a huge, huge investment. Um, uh, e even, you know, like the newer walkers that they're coming out with, like the Damas, it's 50 tablets. You got to spend, you know, say if you can get 2K fragments per an hour, you got to spend multiple, multiple hours to go and grind the tablets, uh, grind the fragments, and then you got to go to the Ancient Fabi. You got to spend another, you know, hour, two hours cranking the tablets out. And then you have to get all of the same one type of tablet. So I think the big thing with this is they really need to get rid of the three variations of the tablets. I, I think that would make it a lot more viable for a lot of players. It's just too grindy. Uh, grindy. It, it literally is way too grindy. You got to trade or collect a, an enormous amount of tablets to get certain things. And it's just, it's just, I don't think, I think a lot of players don't really like it. Uh, I, I mean, even for, like, you know, for instance, armor, you know, to get, like, the, the new iron armor, you have to spend 35 tablets to get the basswood, and then you have the 25 for the iron, so you're talking 60 tablets, so you got to spend, you know, 12 to 14 hours just to get the fragments to be able to, you know, go and try to get the tablets to, you know, and then if you get lucky, you can have enough of the same thing unless you trade or do something like that. So I think that's one of the big reasons of the first reason. The next thing, uh, the Zerg problem and the Alliance problem that they have in the last Oasis. Uh, a lot of these clans and a majority of them are all allied up. If you go to NA West and East, you got like seven, eight clans that are all allied up. Even if you got a decent size, you know, clan and you go attack someone, you might get seven other alliances that are friendly with them to rush in there. So I think that's really, you know, kind of killing the smaller clan base because they don't have much else they can do. They have to ally with a bigger alliance or do something like that. Now, one of the ways I think they could help that, I mean, they do have the clan cap and stuff like that, but, you know, that's how the clans get around it when they have seven alliances and it's a five clan cap. They all send five people and then they got 25 people. But the clan cap doesn't really work too much as now because, say, if it's a five clan cap, you can throw a water bag, get two improvised bottles, and have like 140 water on you, and you're pretty much Gucci. Uh, one way I think they could kind of solve this a little bit maybe is remove your clan tag out of the player name. You know, So when you go up to a player and I look at the player, remove their clan tag. Make them use a spyglass or something like that to figure out the clan tag. That would make it a lot harder for all these huge seven clan alliances to communicate and operate if you know you just remove the clan tag you know um maybe they could implement an alliance system and only have one alliance and then that will flag their you know their alliance you could have like one alliance but right now uh you got a lot of these big clans that are, have seven alliances that they're merged into so that's the second thing the third thing is uh there's not a lot of pve content in the game like right now you know like all the maps are the same like, the hard maps are very similar. You know, you don't really have much variation. There's not much sense of exploration. You know, once you search one of the old hard maps, you know pretty much all of them. Once you search one of the new road hard maps, you know all of them. They're all the same. Uh, it's the same case kind of for the medium maps. There's not much sense of exploration. If they had it more randomized where each new tile heart, new tile that spawned, it was different. It would make you want to explore a little bit more. Uh, and the only reason people do explore the tiles and roam around the zone a lot is either for PvP or like searching for quality materials. So I think that is one of the other bigger reasons why, you know, the player base is starting to die. Is there's not really too much sense of the exploration. It's just PvP for the most part now. Uh, fourth reason. 
And this was a big thing. It's not so much more anymore now, but I think it really drastically reduced the player base several weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but several weeks ago they had a huge downtime where the servers were down for a week, and that really I think killed a lot of the player base. A lot of the people that were playing actively, you know, stopped playing. You know, granted some people were playing a lot more than they should because of the current state with the, the coronavirus stuff, but I really think that did kind of hurt the community as a whole because it, you can look if you look at the Steam stats, it really drastically dropped during that time period. Uh, the fifth reason. Griefers, uh, they, they really need to start addressing something to deal with griefers because you get these people that will come in your t zone or come where you usually farm out of and just grief you for hours and hours and hours. <clears throat> you know, some of the ways they'll grief you is to say if you have a pack base out, they'll just sit there and hit your pack base for five hours straight just to grief you, just to keep you there for five hours so you can't do anything else. Uh, it, it's getting kind of ridiculous, you know, with a lot of different ways they can do it. Uh, another common way is, you know, on the, even on the meaty maps and the hard maps is wingsuits. I mean, you shouldn't be able to regain stamina while you're in the air. You shouldn't be able to bandage while you're in the air. Um, I mean, you can't just sit there and, you know, grapple from tree to tree infinite amount of time. And the only way, true way to combat it is to try to grapple or, or ping pong them or mow all the trees down. You know, they, they need to have it so they force players to go back to the ground you know then that way you actually have a way to you know defend against it you know because they could just you know wingsuit all day long all day long it's kind of ridiculous i think they really need to make it so you can't regain stamina you know while in the air you can't bandage while in the air and they also need to fix it so you can't grapple and heal at the same time uh it, it's it's getting kind of absurd uh anyway i don't want to stick too much on that topic i want to go right on to the next thing is the sixth thing and that's zeroing of the ships. Uh, currently in the state of the game, every ship, everyone zeroes like everything now. Because it's just so easy with the hard maps to just farm Rubu Gel. <clears throat> now, uh, do I like the ability to zero ships? Yes, I do. Uh, and I, I think they need to add some sort of like insurance system. Because it just takes too long for people that like the PvE content or like, you know, the doing the, the quality farm to get these ships. Uh, I don't think a lot of people care about what the stuff is inside of it, but the with you know having to get modules and spend hours and hours farming the quality mats for the ship, and then literally being able to zero a ship with 30 to 40 minutes of farm, it's kind of ludicrous. Like you could go to a hard map, set up a grapple farm, and farm enough Rupu gel to zero just about any ship in the game in about 30, as I said, 30 to 45 minutes. I don't think that should be able to. I think they either need to add some sort of insurance on ships and th and that's just for the ship itself so that way you can get the ship back in 24 hours it kind of maybe make the flot system a little bit more useful um i think they need to tweak this and they have been doing some improvements you know for anti-griefing you know where you can't punch structures anymore you have to use some sort of weapon uh and actually the other day i was trying to use a beat stick to hit a wing and i couldn't hit a wing with a beat stick wouldn't do any damage so i think you need to use uh, different types of weapons so they have been slowly increasing it but i do think that's uh, another one of the reasons why it's starting to lose its player base because you got a lot of those people that grief for 10 hours straight they don't care every day 10 hours straight next thing uh is uh mo modules uh that's the seventh thing modules they really need to fix all the modules with the patch that they did a little while ago they nerfed a lot of the modules tweaked some of them but they didn't fix all the modules uh, you know, for instance, I think it's the life force module. It still gives you just, you know, weight increase, you know, plus one weight. Uh, and then they went and nerfed all the other modules. I think some people were, you know, kind of disgruntled because they went and spent hours and hours and hours farming modules for their ship only to find out like the next day it was instantly nerfed and all the modules kind of, you know, suck. Some of them still have some benefits like the Sandy is still pretty good. The armory is still pretty good. The merchant's good. You know, there's still some good modules, um, but I really think they need to add more variations to the modules and fix the other modules that are in the game and make them do something beneficial. Uh, it, it's currently ridiculous, kind of, with some of the modules. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to cover, as I said already, was, uh, like, zeroing of the ships. They need to add some sort of insurance policy or something like that. It's just really absurd that you can spend 30 to 45 minutes to zero a ship. But those are some of the reasons I think that the player base is dying. 
Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the Steam stats that I've been watching lately over the last several weeks. Let me switch over to my other scene so you guys can see what I am looking at here. All right. So this is the Steam the Steam stats for Last Oasis. And you can see lately it's been going down, gradually going down over and over and over. Uh, I mean, this has been going on for quite a while now. And you can see it's kind of peaked off. This is kind of right when, you know, they had those major server issues back about a month, month and a half ago where the servers were down for about a week and had big time issues. But you can see that it's only, it's it was about 4 or 5k like two week, couple weeks ago and now it's drastically dropped down to like 3k. So I think if they don't address some of the things that I mentioned above, you're going to see that the player base is going to kind of keep going down and down. Uh, now, even with the release of the new content, I haven't really seen too much of a player increase. Uh, at last week, when I looked at this, it was over 4K almost every day. Now, this week, every time, this every day this week I look at it, it's never above 4K. So, if it keeps up this rate of decline in player base, uh, I, I think the game's going to drastically change and there's not going to be as many people playing it. Uh, I mean, I played a lot of different survival games. I uh, played Rain of Kings for a really long time, played Conan, played Ark, and it just seems like the game is starting to die off drastically here. So I really hope they address some of the things I mentioned above, and that is pretty much it. I don't want to drag this video on too much longer, so if you have any questions, guys, think of anything else that I missed in this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. Feel free to stop by my Twitch stream. I do kind of stream a lot more actively now. I don't stream every day, but I try to stream at least five days a week you know I just took off the last two days to kind of refresh and get revived back up amp back up you know something like that but hit that sub button and I appreciate you guys all have a good day and thank you for stopping in and yeah make sure you hit that like button thanks guys